I am Anil Kumar. We will discuss how to find conditional probability in this particular video. The example is, what is the probability of rolling a sum greater than 7 with 2 dice if it is known that the first die roll is a 4? So whenever we are talking about conditional probability, we can use the formula that probability of event A happening when B has already occurred is equal to probability of both A and B. So we can say A and B, let me write A and B, or with a sign of intersection over the probability of event B. So that is the formula which we can apply. We will also see how this formula makes sense. Okay. So in this case, what is our event A? For us, event A is we need to roll some greater than 7, right? So event A is some greater than 7. And how about event B? Now event B is the first die is rolled, right? So first die roll is 4, right? So the event B is that the roll of first die is 4, right? So that is how we can define our events. So whenever you roll two dice, it's a good idea to actually make a matrix and try to understand the situation. So we'll kind of make our matrix here with two dice. So we'll say, uh, we'll put die number one numbers on this side and for two on the other side. The numbers on the die, as you know, are one, two, three, four, five, and six both have same numbers so these are standard dice okay so five and six the operation being performed here is is plus correct so when you add one and one you get two one plus two is three now you can just fill in all these numbers adding the sum of die one and two right so five six seven this gives us three four five six seven eight three plus one is four 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4 plus 1 is 5, and that gives you 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 5 plus 1 is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 6 plus 1 is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, correct, so that is what we get, now from here you can find the probability of both A and B happening, and also what is the probability of A. So let's look into this. What is the probability of B? B is rolling by first die and getting a number 4. So that is, we can look into this column, correct? So that is what we get when we talk about probability of B. So here we can write down that the probability of rolling 4 by the first die is there are six numbers you're rolling for you could write six out of 36 or six out of 36 or one out of six right either way one out of six so for die number one that's the probability in fact i should not write six over 36 when you roll the first die you have these six numbers and is one out of six correct it makes more sense now how about the probability of uh, a and let me use the sign intersection b means that means and right now a is some greater than seven now we are restricted to the domain where the first die gets this four now some greater than seven in this case is these three numbers correct eight nine and ten right so now the probability of both a and B happening, that is first die gave us 4 and the second die gave us a sum more than 7 is 1, 2, 3 out of 36, correct? So that is how you can get your probabilities for each event, right? And now, probability of A to happen when B is certain, right? So chances of B is 1 out of 6. Now we are given that B is certain, then A happens. In that case, it is going to be probability of A 
intersection B divided by probability of B, right? So now that becomes your space area, right? Now what is A intersection B? It is 3 over 36, which could be simplified as uh, uh, 1 over 12, right? Dividing by 3, 1 over 12. So we'll write this as 1 over 12. So let me write this as 1 over 12 divided by B, which is 1 over 6. And that is equals to 1 over 12 times 6 over 1, or you can say simplified is 50%. So when the event A has happened, that is, if rolling the first die gives you a number which is 4, then the probability of getting a number greater than 7 on the second roll is half, right? So that is the answer. And that is how you should understand and do such problems, right? I hope that makes sense to you. Or you can say 50% or you could write half, either way. So I hope this point is clear to you. We'll take a few more examples and then move on. I'm Adil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos to learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.